All right, let's continue with method number three. Remember, we have a problem, and we determined that the cost per laptop, which we're asked to find out, is equal to the total cost in dollars divided by the number of laptops. Or in other words, 13,230 divided by 21. So method number three is called the DOTS method, and it works like so. In this case, we start with the largest number, which is the 13,230. That's what we're dividing into. And we write that number out as follows. 1, 3, 2, 3, 0. Each digit is in its own place value column. And then we write how many dots is in each column. So we've got one dot in this column, three dots in this column, two dots in this column, three dots in this column, and no dots in the final column. Next, we look at what we're dividing by, which is 21. We write that number over here, and we look for the pattern. Well, the pattern that we're looking for would have two dots in this column, and right next to it, a single dot in the other column. Then what you do is, starting from left to right, you find out how many ways you can get this pattern covered here. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Let's take this pattern. Okay, so we're going to copy this pattern and see what how Here it is, and we're going to move it over and see if we can figure out how we can get this pattern to work. Okay, now we'll notice on the left farmost column, we only have one dot where we should have two dots, so we can't use the pattern there. So what do we do? So in this case, I have to borrow this one dot here, take it out of that column, and add it to the next column immediately to the right. So I'm borrowing uh, one dot in this column, which would mean 10 dots in this column. So I write down an additional 10 dots, one, two, three, etc. Now let's see if I can get this pattern. And I can, because I can, for example, take this dot, this dot, and that dot. And I can do it again. I can take this dot, and this dot, and that dot. It doesn't have, the dots don't have to be right next to each other like that pattern, but as long as you have two dots here, and one dot here available to you, you can cover that pattern. Now if I try to take this dot and this dot, I don't have another dot here in this column. So like we did before, I have to borrow from this column, so I'll take that dot, and when I do so, I'm borrowing 10 dots. Remember in our number system, as the columns go, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, we're going up by a multiple of ten. So that's why we're borrowing ten dots. So let's put ten dots here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I can take these two with that one. Two dots here with that one, two dots here with that dot there, and two dots here with that dot there. Okay, I don't have any more dots in this column, so I go to the next column over. And we see if we can get that pattern again. Can I get two dots and one dot? Yes, we can, so let's do that. So we take these two dots with that dot there, these two dots with that dot there, and these two dots with that dot there. And so now we've covered all the dots. Okay, so we're done. So then what you do is you figure out how many patterns did you cover in each column. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six in this column. So we'll write a six there. And we did one, to 3 in this column, so I'll put a 3 here, and we didn't do any after that, so that's a 0 in that column.
So our answer is 630. So the cost per laptop in our case here, using the dot method of division, is 630, which matches our other two methods. And so we know we've got the right answer here. We could also verify by taking 630 and multiplying it by 21. It should give us 13,230. And there you go.